Welcome back to another episode of Steve's Reviews Unboxing. Before we begin, two apologies. Apology number one, I'm sorry that it's not more festive than it already is. I know I'm wearing my Christmas jumper this year, I don't know what you think. But I've got minimal decorations. That, that, and that. That's because all of my decorations are currently still in the attic and I haven't been in there to get them out. And the second apology is that the sound might be a bit strange in this episode. I'm trying to get to, to grips with a new method essentially. Instead of having this uh, uh, mic here, the Yeti Blue, I'm using a shotgun mic up here, which is a bit different than normal. It might sound terrible. Moving on, for those of you that don't know what this episode is all about, basically I save everything that's been sent to the studio in the past month and unbox it in one massive haul. Now I know that it's not been that long since the last unboxing haul, and that's because that one was massively delayed, but we're here now at the start of the month and there's one very, very good reason that you're gonna wanna stay tuned for, but the eBay store of Stu's Reviews has just opened, and I will explain more about that very, very shortly. But let's crack on and start with the very first parcel. First up. <laughs> We're starting this month with the Super EQ S1. We've definitely, definitely, definitely had that already. We have, as far as I remember, they were okay. They weren't the best, they weren't the worst. We had some Super EQ uh, headphones last time. They were actually pretty good. Um, I remember these being a bit, hmm. But we're not going to go on to those because we have listened to those already. So next up, <laughs> that's a start and a half, that is. I wonder if we're going to get any uh, mouldy cakes like last time. For those that are new, by the way, sometimes I get the weirdest things I've ever seen. Okay, so inside here. By the way, whoever said my knife needs sharpening? Apparently not. That just cut through quite a bit. Okay, what have we got? We've got something called the Halo Lock Adjustable Wireless Charging Stand. Okay, this could be quite interesting. Obviously now with uh, most of Apple's new phones supporting the MagSafe standard, this could be quite cool. All right. I'm sure I actually quite like that. That's quite cool. Well. Apparently the 12 Pro Max needs a little bit more balance in there, but do you know what? I quite like this. I think that's a, a nifty little product. Uh, overall, I quite like this. I'm not sure how the cabling will look though, because it doesn't appear like there's any way to sort of tidy your cable up and dangle out the bottom like that. Less impressed with that charging solution. Inside here, we have got a few boxes, more ESR Halo Lock stuff. We've got a car mount, that could be quite helpful. By the way, ESR, what is this useless plastic packaging doing? Single use plastic, stop it. Next time, use cardboard. Okay, this seems to fit onto this, which goes onto your car vents, and then that magnetizes on there. Who is the strongest MagSafe for the 12 Pro Max? For the iPhone 12 maybe, but I'd be a bit concerned that that could fly off. Hmm. I'm not as convinced by that, although it's useful. Right, there is a package I want to open because it reminds me very much of the Mooncake package. It's got this kind of red Chinese writing on it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> if we go. If you haven't seen last month's episode, that was a curveball. I've never been sent food before. It doesn't smell like food, so we're in business so far. This is just stupid. Why do I need this many bags? This is ridiculous. But there's two of them. 
There's two bags, something marked EH5 and EH8. What is it? Kai Wheat's air quality detector. Kai Wheat's air quality detector. There's two of them. Are they different? No. They don't appear to be different. Okay, fine. Apparently there's no kind of smart connection that I can tell of, but I may be wrong. Ooh. Okay, Wi-Fi smart carbon dioxide detector. Oh, okay, this is quite cool. So it is a Wi-Fi enabled uh, carbon dioxide detector. Oh, there we go, we're on. 500 ppm and a smiley face there. There is a smiley face saying that I'm not going to die. 62 degrees Fahrenheit and it's 92% humidity in here. I don't think that's correct, surely. Okay, and this will pair up with an app. That means that it opens up a hell of a bigger world here. That's pretty cool. Uh, no, my CO2 is 1,205. And it's now got a very upset face. Well, it works, it's now showing nearly 2,000. 2,100, 2,200, oh my God! The CO2 is gonna kill us all. That is interesting. I am gonna put that over here. Can you see that? Not quite. I'm gonna put it over here and have a monitor for the rest of this episode and see what my CO2 is. Hopefully that will go down because it's currently saying 2,900. Well, if I die halfway through making this episode, just fall flat on here. Uh, whoever is editing or watching this footage, please post this unedited. And at least uh, offer you some kind of uh, comedy. Right, okay, let's move on. Pitaka carbon fiber watch band for the Apple Watch 42 millimeter slash 44 millimeter. Well, there's one big problem with this, is I don't have an Apple Watch because I believe it's possibly one of the most awful devices that Apple has ever made. And I may make an episode on that. If you are interested in hearing my opinion on the Apple Watch, please do let me know. I'm tempted to make an episode. But as far as it goes as a watch strap, that is quite cool. It feels quite light. It's got a kind of carbon fiber-esque feeling about it. I think that's really quite nice. You've got a little button here. I think we can press that and it opens up kind of like a link bracelet style thing. Very nice from Pitaka. I've always liked Pitaka stuff. Okay, what is inside this one? All right, okay, so we've got more Exa gear. Uh, Exa makes some pretty cool headsets. I've tried a few things in the past that I've been relatively impressed by. They did some uh, gaming headphones, the GT1s, which I've had two pairs of apparently. Oh, look at that. I bop down, down, left, right, left, right, B and A. Anyone tell me what cheat that activates? a telecom environmental noise cancelling wireless headset mm. okay this could be quite interesting oh you don't see many like this these days actually with just one earphone interesting that this actually let's adjust it a bit though for my fat head can i not adjust that so can i okay more mm, not, no apparently not just feels a bit unnatural feels quite small are you sure i can undo this feels like this side should also adjust but it also won't interesting so that side doesn't appear to adjust whereas this side does doesn't lead for the most comfortable headset experience. USB-C though. Okay, I like this, a bit of a down mark because I can't seemingly adjust. No, I mean, you can see I'm gonna pull that apart, literally. Hmm. Right, onto a big parcel here. We've got two massive ones down here. What's inside it? I mean, sounds a bit odd.
What the hell is this? Well, it looks like a 3D printer that's come in pieces. Why open this upside down? Quite possibly. That is a 3D printer that I possibly have opened upside down as well. So I'm going to put it back together. There's no branding on this box at all. Hepfi 3. Mm, it does look a bit like an Ender 3 though. Ender 3 is one of my favourite, favourite 3D printers. Certainly a favourite budget 3D printer anyway. Uh, although the one I'm using at the moment is, well those of you that know Studio Reviews, the Adventurer 4 at the moment, which is a solid device. Right, okay. Let's have a look what's inside this one then. Game, sir. Gaming is winning. Okay. This one is a multi-platform game controller, so I assume it works with a few different options, tailored a bit more towards mobile gaming. It looks kind of Switch-esque, doesn't it? Hold on a minute. This looks different. How does it light up? Whoa! Feels all right as well. The thumbsticks are more like an Xbox-style thumbstick. Feels quite compact. Not sure it's massively a competitive controller. You know me, I've built my own competitive PlayStation controller. But I think that's relatively nice. Hacky. We had some hacky stuff before, actually. Some headphones. Okay, what are these? The Hacky G1 Pro. I do like the packaging a bit. That's like a recyclable cardboard, so they get marks for that. Uh, although they've put plastic around the outside of this, which seems completely needless. Gone all the way to use recyclable cardboard in your packaging, you just put a piece of plastic around it. Anyway, uh, yeah, nice, nice little design. I guess you could clip that on your bag or whatever. No, you couldn't because that's mad. That's crazy. Look at that. Huh? Is that supposed to happen? Are they supposed to be in two separate bits like that. Oh, that's quite cool. Right, let's get them. Uh, let's get them paired up. Oh, they're not charged, so we're gonna have to come back to these. Someone's written me an entire letter. Hi, Studio Reviews. I'm Tim Liam, CEO of EGO Innovative Limited. The Exino is a painstaking two years of hard work. Exino is on Kickstarter, and the end is the 20th of November. We're a bit late. Right, the Exino 240 watt Pro Charger. So it looks to me like you can literally plug a hell of a lot of stuff in here. We've got, wow, three 100 watt USB-C uh, charger ports. We've got one 35 watt USB and two 18 watt USB. That is a bit of a powerhouse. Okay, yeah, I mean, this is that, that is that is a beefy, beefy powerhouse that. I really quite like this. Uh, it feels super weighty. Ah, we've got like the little on off light here, but when I plugged it in, it shows you the output for each individual port. Now that is cool. Never thought I'd find a power station quite as cool as that. We are about halfway through now. So now it's time to find out a little bit more about what I mentioned earlier, the Stu's Reviews eBay store. Okay, so what am I now doing inside of a building that looks half finished? This is the new storeroom of the new studio that I'm literally building by hand myself. As you can see, I've not finished it, so I'm not doing a very good job. I've got hardly any time to do it. But basically, behind you, you can see the entire storage for all of the tech that I've amassed over the past four years. Tech that I've bought, tech that I've been sent, tech that I've acquired, doesn't matter. It is all stored here and we're getting to a breaking point. I need to do something with this tech. Now I have a bunch of options available to me, but the options that I've decided to do because I'm trying to run a viable business is to sell all of this. Now, instead of just sticking it on Facebook or Gumtree or eBay, I've decided to start a Stu's Reviews eBay store that will be open until the new year. Put in tons and tons of stuff from here on there at a discounted price, 20% off its RRP. And every week, all of the items that are still left on there will get discounted by another 10%. Every single week, starting from Monday. Obviously the, the store is up and live now, and if you wanna check that out, the links are below. 
but from Monday, everything will drop by 10%. The next Monday, another 10%. Now, if you're a patron, you also get a 35% code to use to get anything you see on there for 35% off the price that it's listed at. So that's even after, say, it's discounted by 20% over the next couple of weeks and you use the code, you'll get another 35% off. So if you do want to get anything, now might be a good time to become a patron and i'll leave a link to both the ebay store and the patreon page in the description below i think becoming a patron is only four dollars so if you're saving over four dollars with the 35 percent code it's probably worth becoming a patron at this point as well as that going live i just want to say a massive thanks to all of you guys you guys are my patron supporters and i couldn't do it without you remember you guys this month get an access to that code so if you do want to access that become a bronze tier patron and you'll get that as soon as you sign up and also a massive thanks to two new patrons this month we've got nick ball and stuart hudson good name stew but otherwise thank you very much guys for supporting me on patreon and let us move on to the next parcel unusually dense one this time none the wiser what this is okay well, it seems to be something to do with blood pressure oh mono Break shackles, Muno, naturally. Again, if any, any Chinese companies would like, or any non-Chinese companies would like branding help with their slogans, please do let me know. I am available for consultation. Oh, I have no idea. Okay, what, how, what is this? It smells extremely perfumed. That's making my eyes water. <laughs> what was that? That was the longest start of time I have seen. I believe I know what this is now. That was hilarious. What on earth? Starting measurement. No! Please relax. Stop, 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 stop measurement. Stop measurement. Oh no, stop your nightmare. Where's the instructions? Error. It does this every time you start it up. That's enough to make the sanest person want to kill themselves. Down, up, okay. Starting measurement, please relax. Measurement over. Your blood pressure. Systolic pressure. 114 millimeter of mercury pillar. Diastolic pressure. 67 millimeter of mercury pillar. The pulse. 72 beats per minute. The measurement results is normal. Thank you. Oh, well, I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie. Um... There's a lot I do like about this. I think if you are a little bit concerned about your own kind of health or whatever, your blood pressure, this sort of thing is gonna be really handy. The design is quite nice in itself. I mean, look, that, that screen is actually really cool. I, I think that's genuinely actually a cool product. There are a few things I'm a bit uncertain by it. I mean, that startup chart, if you can't turn that off, that will get very annoying very quickly. It's got a Bluetooth symbol, so I must be able to connect this to an app as well. Even better, it's got USB-C. I like that! I tried to, funnily enough, I didn't think I'd be saying this, but I actually think that's really cool. Next up, we've got a projector. This is a very unusual looking projector, actually. This is by Vanvo. Oh, wow. Uh, that is smaller than I anticipated. Focus ring apparently on the front there. It's actually a really little neat looking product. Let's get this plugged in and see what it's like. This projector leaves a lot to be desired. It's very small, but then the picture is also very small and not that good. 
and the speaker. Wow. This is another extremely heavy one. What is that? Mookie. Mookie. Mookie Bluetooth bookshelf speakers. Ugh. Well, okay. Okay. These are heavy, these. They look quite nice. Alright, we've got a full on, full on. Oh, this is full on, this is. Wow. <laughs> Okay, we've got quite a lot of control here. We can pump the treble and the bass up. Wow! Wow! Yeah, I mean, they're great. They're actually really, really good. I would give these a good 7 out of 10. And I rarely give out 7 out of 10s. Very, very, very similar to the... Uh, Edify ones, or Edifier, Edifior, Edifier, Fire, Edifur. No one knows how you pronounce it. But apparently everyone's a critic. One of those words that no one knows how to say. Except that those that think they know how to say it. And we've got the Pitaka Mag Easy Case. Very much like the uh, Apple Watch. I don't have the appropriate phone to review this on, unfortunately, because I don't have an iPhone 13 Pro. I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max. But, always like Pataka stuff. I think they're really solid. I've been a very, very big fan. In fact, I tried shooting a Pataka case, because supposedly they're bulletproof, so I shot it with a shotgun. Right then. Let's give this a go. Uh, again, I'll link that episode in the description if you want to see it. Hmm. What is that? X-Boat Pro. All in for love. By Yob... Yo. Yob... Yobby bow. Yobi bow. Yobi bow? I don't know what this is. X Boat Pro. Still don't know what it is. Oh, I don't that. Hey, hold on a minute. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's quite cool. So these are headphones. Oh, I'm, I'm in for this. That's ace. That is one of the most minimalistic cases I've ever seen for headphones. <gasps> I hope these are good. Look at this, look, look, look. I don't know how easy it is gonna to be to lose these. I, I like that a lot. Come back to those after they've got some charge. Ooh, X Sense home security kit. Oh, this looks quite cool. I have had some stuff from X Sense before, but it's not been smart. I'm sure it wasn't smart. I'm sure I got like sent a fire alarm that just didn't connect to anything. This looks like it may well connect to something. Okay, so there is an app. Hey! So we've got, in this kit, we've got motion sensors. We've got, apparently, a bunch of door sensors. That's awesome. So, one, two motion sensors, four door sensors, and the base station. I don't know what the app is like, or what app it uses, Xsense. Let's have a quick peek. Mm, okay, so we got one and a half stars out of five. I don't know if you'll be able to partner this with anything like Alexa or IFTTT. That to me is an absolute must for any form of smart home kit. It has to be able to pair up and work with other devices in unison. Absolutely useless if it doesn't. Oh, this is interesting. We've got a uh, Bridgie, Briggy, Bridgie handheld vacuum m1 
no mess is big. That is a much better slogan. Companies take note. No mess is big. I think no mess is too big will be better. I don't know. This is a very odd design. It's like a flask. say about that. I mean, it could come in handy at some point. I'm not sure, I'm not massively convinced that that is going to be super useful in its existing form. I don't know. I'd have to give it some more thought and a bit more of a go. Uh, but the design, that gets A+. Plus. Oh, it's another Halo lock. Wireless charger. This is a kickstand. Again, more of this plastic, which I'm not massively convinced. Oh, it does? Oh, it does. How about that? Yeah, all right, I'm getting, that's pretty cool. That is actually incredibly useful if you're traveling. It charges it and stands your phone up. That is nifty. Look at that. That, that couldn't be simpler. Top marks, that is the coolest thing they've got. I take it back, I really like that. That is the Halo Lock Kickstand Wireless Charger. Let us have a listen to these, first of all. So I'm gonna to listen to the boat ones. Yeah, these are good. Yeah, these are very good. I, I would give these a 6.5, 7 out of 10 for sound. Again, I'm giving out a 7 today quite a bit. I think sound-wise, they're actually pretty good. I would say that they're more about clarity than they are about anything kind of like bass or, you know, the bass wasn't overpowering. So if you like heavy bass, these probably won't be for you. But if you like clarity and just generally good quality, these are top notch. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how suitable that is because, I mean, they could come out quite easily. Doesn't appear to be a way to sort of lock them, but that's what's missing. I'd like some way to kind of lock them in place. Right, the hacky. Let's have a listen to these ones then. Okay, they're good. There's, I really like those. They're really, really good. The clarity is quite nice. Uh, the highs are especially clear. They've got a very crisp sound, but there isn't very much bass. The bass on those, it's not the best, but they are very clear and very crisp sounding. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna give those somewhere near a five or a six. It's still good headphones. I don't think I'll be too disappointed if I bought those, especially if I'm using for running or some kind of sport. I literally had this last week. It's just a different box. Hmm. I do believe this is the last one. What is it? What is it gonna... What is it gonna be? <laughs> ah, we're ending with a weird one. Okay, we've got the Easy Act USB Mini Fan. The Make It Easy by Easy Act. Do you know, I almost think I've had something identical to this already. I mean, it's all right, it's just a job. It's an extra piece of kit that can just plug into your computer and whiz away. But it's the middle of December. Wrong month to be having that, and I could have done with that during the heat wave. Hmm. Well, this month was a, a really a pretty good success. There was nothing too mental. No mouldy food, and there's some pretty good stuff, so. It's time for me to award what the best items were. Third place, I'm gonna to have to award it to the Muno. That is a really nicely designed product. 
bit of an unusual branding and that startup chime every time you want to measure your heart rate and your blood pressure just no but extremely nice design really genuinely like the design of this product so that ends up at number three now at number two i'm gonna have to give it to these the expo pros again i'm giving it to these because the design is just fantastic i've not seen stuff like that before where it's just been so cool genuinely i really really like these i think they're very very cool and they sound good as well but in first place i'm gonna have to give it to another sound thing this month the mookie speakers mookie malky malky mookie i don't really know how you pronounce that but these are very very good and genuinely i was very very impressed with how they sound they look great they fit my aesthetic what's not to like about them so these get first place but i do want to give an honorable mention to these things i think these are really cool this little sensor has just been chugging along i love the display it's like a little color i don't know how long the battery life will last on it but i just think they're really cool and i haven't connected to wi-fi at the moment but if it connects to wi-fi and i can check out things if i can somehow get this working with the rest of my smart home i actually really like it it's also got a sad face at the moment saying i've got 1600 ppm of co2 in here i mean i have literally hermetically sealed myself in to film this but i'll open everything up and get things going but i i genuinely like these i don't know what sort of expense they are either but i think they're really cool i think they're a nice design but that's an honorable mention other than that guys that pretty much concludes this episode of stew's reviews unboxing hall i hope you have a fantastic christmas hanukkah yule yol whatever you celebrate at this time of year i hope it's fantastic for you uh and i just hope you enjoy the festive period don't forget to drink eat be merry in whatever you're doing with family friends and so on but other than that guys thank you very much for joining here on stews reviews have a lovely festive period i'll see you back for another episode soon